Hi there, this is Tom Trainer with Right Mix Marketing, and I have a quick tutorial here about how I use a tool called Curation Soft to curate a Pinterest board. So I have a board called Pinterest Articles and Tips, and so I have about four over 400 people following it, 422. And of course, I want to keep the content fresh and uh, and have some of the best articles so that uh, that I, I keep having more and more followers and they get a lot of value out of it. So one simple way to do that is to use a tool called Curation Soft. And so what I do is simply log in and then I can search for Pinterest. On the first default search here, which is Google Blog Search, now there are several different ways to search, but let's just start with the first one. And I type in Pinterest and it sorts by date so I get the most recent articles here and that makes it so much easier so basically presidents on Pinterest I actually uh, posted about that yesterday so let's do this one the 10 most followed men in on Pinterest so first I look at the article make sure it looks reasonable and of course Mashable usually has great articles so um, that should be fine so here's this basically shows some screenshots of these uh, these people's Pinterest boards and has a short article on it. But so yes, I will pin it. And of course, the easiest way to pin on Pinterest is to get the um, Pinterest pin button on your browser. And then you pick uh, the most appropriate shot, one that, that'll stand out. So maybe this one. And if the description doesn't automatically come out, you can copy the description or the title onto your pin. And I usually put the source website and pin it. And, and sometimes I will tweet the pin. In this case, I won't. So then let's look at Confessions of a Pinterest Spammer. That was t today as well. And I've just quickly skimmed the article. And let's see. So it looks, let's see. So it looks like the article mainly references another article, so I'd probably want to pin the original article versus the one that's just kind of summarizing another article. So I'll go there. And this is from uh, yesterday. So it's not copying, so I'm just going to type it in. Okay, and let's see if there's anything else. Disney Pinterest boards, the Disney blog. Let's see what they're talking about here. Okay, so this is about Pinterest uh, boards from the Disney company. It looks pretty interesting, so let's put that on there as well. Okay, so you can see how easy that was. In a few minutes, I can find some great articles. So if I do this once or twice a day, you know, sometimes you don't want to do too many pins at the same time and flood people's streams, but you can um, do a couple, do a couple rounds of this using Curation Soft, and it, it it makes it pretty easy. Then obviously, if you're browsing the web and you find other good articles, you can post those as well. Now, about 80% of people on Pinterest are repinning other people's posts. So if you're curating a specific board, it's actually good to be part of the minority who are actually pulling new content into Pinterest versus just rehashing what other people are sharing. 
So that's my two cents on uh, on adding value in Pinterest. So I hope this helped with this quick tutorial on CurationSoft. And again, don't forget to get the, the pin button. And you can go to Pinterest and do a quick search on how to get the pin button. And they give you very easy instructions on how to add that to your browser because that will also speed things up. And thanks. This has been Tom with RightMixMarketing.com.